back here with the decopods. Decopod number four. Bipod number four. Um, we're doing bipods and tripods, and I'm going to do six of each. So we're over halfway through the whole edition. Now what a long, strange trip it's been. The decopods have come a long way. Um, from the first one that I did that was basically welded together out of three pieces of metal, it was all planished, and it looked like one piece to Don and I developing this lap panel construction, which I really, really like, to this is the first one to get the copper, and I really enjoyed working with the copper, and I think it really adds a lot. We've got all of our panels shaped, and they're sitting on our box. They're still floating, though. Now it's time to drill a hole and Cleco it. That'll lock everything down. Okay, the MP3 decopod is an air-cooled bike. That means it needs a radiator. That means it needs a grill. We're making these really cool grills for them. They're all a little bit different. We start by cutting them out of 3 16 plate aluminum with a water jet, and then we start shaping them. How do we shape it? Well, we start by running it through the slip rolls and giving it a single plane curve, which matches our buck. All right, here we go. Single plane curve that matches our buck. Now we head over to the power hammer to give it the curve this way. Related to the Decopods, the Decosin is a unique vehicle built on a 1984 Harley-Davidson Sportster chassis. You ride on it rather than in it. This is crazy. I think you'd all agree. The Decosin is now on permanent display in the showroom of Northwest Harley-Davidson in Lacey, Washington. The finishing touch to the Decopods is the Flash Gordon-like Deco helmet. It mimics the smooth, tapering bullet shape of the body and sports the streamlined, folded wings of a skydiving falcon. Randy Grubb's rolling sculptures have been big in the news over the last year. Hot Rods and Hogs Motorcycle Magazine in Florida highlighted Randy in his Carvolution article. Hot Rod Magazine featured Randy as one of the top fabricators in the country. Cycle World included the Decoliner, Decoson, and Decopods at the 2013 Quail Motorcycle Gathering. At the 12th Annual Car Classic Show at the Art Center College of Design in Pasadena, Randy was a panelist alongside Freeman Thomas, the creator of the new Beetle concept car. In November 2013, the Decoliner made the cover of RV Life magazine. And in January 2014, Car Culture Deluxe ran a feature story called The Evolution of the Decopods. Hey, look at that, right underneath the Beatles. Jay Leno makes the Daily Courier. Jay Leno hosted Randy and his Decopods on his program, Jay Leno's Garage. Randy's work has appeared on many American websites. And in Germany, Randy was introduced to hundreds of thousands of car and motorcycle fans. The lap panel construction has been a lot of fun to develop with my friend Don Tippett, and where will it ultimately end up? Well, it's hard to say. We're designing a car right now that will actually have this same uh, lap panel and riveted 
uh, construction technique. It should be very interesting. I don't know any vehicles that are built this way. So it's an exciting uh, turn, and uh, the decopods have led me to this point uh, along the path, and I think it's pretty fun. So um, I think a car. The sensuous flowing French curves of the 30s Bugattis and Delahays gave Randy the feel for his B702. An inspiration for the new car is the 37 Delahay, which he and his line man, Don Tibbet, got to see at the Mullen Automotive Museum. Shown here are the concept sketches of the new car with its lap panels, and then with rivets. Under the hood will be a powerful V12 engine. In March, Randy appeared in a two-minute movie, 2014, A Metal Odyssey. Where did I get the idea for a decopod? Hey, knock it off!